Chris? Yeah? Uh, what are you doing? I'm trying to chop down this tree by running into it. So you're trying to top, chop down the tree with your face? Yep. Uh. I mean, that's, that's how it should be. Ow, ow. Whoa, how'd you do that? It was your face. Oh. Wait. Yes. You mean you had to shoot the tree down? No, 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 that was your face. Oh, it was my face? That was your face. Oh, okay. Okay, cool, cool. So it does work. Your it theory, does. Your theory does work. So yeah, I mean, how, how, uh, so we're here to you today. Uh, it's Glamers and Chris. Uh, we got a new texture pack for Minecraft, and we just want to show it off a little bit. What do you guys think? It's like, it's like I, th I think it's pretty good. I mean... I don't think it's as good as the Minecraft graphics, though. Oh yeah, like, no, I regular, think regular, regular. Yeah, we need graphics. I there's far too many pixels in this. I mean, we can actually have circles. I, I don't know how I feel about that. How does that work? I'm not sure. But jokes aside, uh, we're playing a game right now. It's called Starforge. It's a uh, very, very, it's a very early alpha of a game. And the reason why we're showing it off is because it's it's very similar to Minecraft. And we're very excited for this game coming out. Um, it's, I mean, there's resource hunting. You gotta chop down trees. You gotta build houses. You gotta do. It, with guns. It's pretty much. You chop yeah, down it's pretty stuff much, with guns. It's Minecraft with guns, aliens, and space. Pretty much. And physics. Don't forget that. Massive physics. So just to uh, give you some. Good things to compare it to. In Minecraft, you're punching trees down, right, with your fists, which is what you were trying to see me do at the start, which obviously didn't work very well. With his face. With my face, yeah. But in this, you chop him down with uh, guns. Now, you get shovels and dig in the ground. You can do all that, all that fun stuff. Before we get too far into this. Yeah, uh, before we get too far. We didn't, we didn't actually cover the developer's code hatch. Oh yeah, yeah, goat hatch, code hatch. It's all one word. And the uh, the price point for this game is about $20, 1999 yep. to be specific, in U.S. dollars. Uh, so if you are buying it from anywhere else, I don't know what it is in Wallaby Bucks or anything like that, so you'd have to look that up. But Stray of dollars! It is, uh, it is a very fun game to pick up. $20 gets you into the alpha, and uh, you are paying, paying for... You are getting what you pay for, is what I want to say, and... Um, you are paying for an alpha, so don't yeah, I'm come not, I'm not expecting actually... a full, complete game, no bugs or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm not actually sure if the game's price is going to go up when it's released. I'm not sure if they're doing it Minecraft style pricing, where like as more features are added, it's going to get more expensive. I'm not sure, but as of right now, it's 19.99, and as of right now, the game is far from being completed. Yeah, the uh, you can see, like just just right now, we're using guns as jetpacks to propel ourselves. I mean, it's 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 a physics based game and it tries really hard to be that, but as of right now you can see like I mean there's a lot that uh <laughs> it can work on. <laughs> so it's streaming so, so much fun. <laughs> Let's get on so, to the other the other part of this then. Yeah, so pretty much uh it's an objective based not I don't want to say objective based game, but you have an actual objective in it which is basically to survive, to leave the planet. Uh, it's it's very similar to Minecraft. You're searching for trees to make wood, to make blocks. And those blocks, you can see, are squares. You can make houses. You can make tools. You can make basically anything you want. It's very similar to Minecraft in that sense. Um, the difference being you can make vehicles and that the buildings that you build have to be structurally sound. And if they're not, which they is will pretty collapse. much like what I'm building right now, it will fall and there will be horrible things happening. Because like right now... Uh, see how Chris actually put those platforms down? If those weren't actually there in uh, in the game, like if we did, you know you could just remove them, right? When you're building mode. Shut up! Like that right there. There's just it's all relying on that one stress point. This whole structure would fall. No floating stuff anymore. Obviously it's floating right now, but uh, it when won't be able to float when the game out, comes yeah. out. Your, your so. building's gonna have to be structurally sound. It's very much physics based. You know, there's gravity. There's Momentum, all that fun stuff. And one of the uh, key differences here is the crafting system. There is crafting in this game. However, uh, it's a lot different because you don't have an inventory. You don't hold on to objects, but instead you stand near them. So you can see like all these wooden pallets 
these are our these are blocks of I think it's like what a hundred wood. I think something like that. And basically, from the crafting menu, you can use that hundred wood to make objects. It's more of a like a click and craft type thing instead of make shapes. Basically, you click on what you want to craft and then you press the craft button. We'll actually show you here in a second. But you don't have to put in shapes. You don't have to know recipes. There's, um, I think you can discover blueprints later on. But as of right now, everything's just press a button and it makes it. So, I do actually want to touch on real quick. Um, there is an inventory system. If you go the third uh, right, type right, over, right. there is an inventory system. Uh, you have 25 slots. Um, it looks like there wipe, will be some kind of ammo system going on too. Um, not one. There isn't one in place right now. It's just unlimited ammo. And um, but yeah, there's there's different slots. I, I don't know what exactly those are slots more. Are for. Those are for uh, carrying, I think, equipment. That you find uh, in the world. I, I could be wrong. Not materials. Um, I think materials you can carry up to like 100 of each, but if you get over 100, it makes a pallet like that. Okay. That would make or sense. like a or a you know thing of stone or metal or oil barrels and whatnot. Hmm. Not quite sure, but what, a lot of it is this is since this is an early alpha, it's very yeah. Hard none to of tell. this actually works right now. A lot of what's um, going on, but. Like if you look into the other tabs, you have abilities too. There's leveling up, there's skill trees and all that, but they actually have a page coming soon. They don't work at all. They don't even have any descriptions on anything. There are missions and stuff like that too you can do. You can get completely up into space too. Um, I'm not going to cover that in this video because it does take a little while to get up there. Uh, we don't really have the time constraints. Since with our time constraints, we don't really have time to get up there. But uh, we do want to make a video where we do that eventually. Yeah, in the alpha, I mean, there's no there's no vehicles yet, so in the actual game, you'll be able to build a rocket ship going up into space. But in the alpha, uh, you can either shoot yourself up using guns, but we don't have the right guns for it, or you can just build a tower of wood, and, like, 1,500 blocks will get you pretty close. But, as you can imagine, that would take a really long time, so we're not going to do that. Yeah. However, I mean, we can get we can get ourselves a nice boost and show off the crafting system real fast right here. Why don't you go ahead and uh, build our little, little uh, flippy thing. Well, which one do we want? Do we want the horizontal or we don't we want the vertical? Let's do the vertical one. Do the vertical, vertical one. one. Okay. Yeah, let's get some air. So when the actual game comes out, uh, there's going to be separate game modes. There's Fort Defense, Survival, and Creative. We're in Creative right now. Creative mode basically is you have unlimited resources, which we don't have uh, in Alpha right now. But you will have unlimited resources, and unlimited ammo. Basically, it's, it's Creative mode. It's just like Minecraft. You can build whatever you want and you can fly around. Survival mode is going to be like what we have now, where you still have to mine for your resources, but there's also going to be aliens and there's permadeath. Um, with, however, you can build like respawn stations, which is what we're standing on, and aliens will try to attack you, and you can come across them and at night and stuff like that. And there's one and, more game mode, isn't there? Yeah, there's four defense, which is you have what we're standing on right now. Basically, you just have to defend it. You can build build towers around it, or you can just build you know a big fort around it, and kind of like. Like this, a big fart and around it. Big fart around it, yeah. And it's the building system's a little bit wonky right now, but uh, being an elf, it's not very optimized either for systems. So you'll notice some frame rate, frame rate drops here and there, which uh, you know is to be expected being an alpha and everything. And if you pay the twenty dollars, you do get access to the alpha um, immediately. Immediately, immediately, yeah. So you can you can help report bugs or anything you find with the game. <clears throat> but just don't go in, into it expecting a completed product. Haha, -ha, I figured out how to make it towards me. Haha. -ha. That's Whoop. cool. See what I found out? What'd you do? Oh, Ow, oh, oh. my face. Yeah, like, like I said, this, this game this? is also. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! This what game is really heavily uh, physics based. I mean, there's going to be parkour. Uh, you can see, like, these are, are defenses against aliens, so when they get close, they get knocked back. Or up. It's. Oh! Oh! Whoa. Uh oh. Hello. I'll catch you with bullets. <laughs> there's but we're we're different... really excited for this game because yeah. it's going to. I mean, there's only so much you can do in Minecraft. In this game, you have an infinite limitless possibilities. Yeah, I mean, there's infinite terrain. You can craft your own guns. You can fly to other planets. Oh yeah, that's oh, a good wow, one. Nice, that's a good one. Oh oh. Oh, I just got smashed in the face and died. Yeah. No, okay. See, the, that twitching pendulum's back over there. Really? I don't see it. Yeah. 
I made I made a twitching pendulum earlier, and I was checking out the uh, recycling system that they have, and uh, apparently oh, it didn't recycle very well, and it just teleported to the ground. But like I said, early alpha, you expect bugs and things like this, so it's no big deal. Um, I'm gonna make the other one. What are you no, making? I made a spotlight. Oh no. <laughs> it's another way you can get into what space. Is, wait, what is an L slammer turret? Um, I don't know. Figure it out. Build it. I don't have enough resources. Oh. Uh, let me go oh, ahead. We need to get metal. Here, I'll recycle the uh, spotlight. How do I recycle? It's in your inventory. Oh god, I can't hit that one okay. on the ground. It's, it's hilarious. Recycled. It's hilarious that you can't see that one on the ground, yet it still hits me and knocks me all over the place. Wow, this one's going pretty fast. Yeah, that's what I said. The the sideways ones are are nice. I don't know if you can hit. Them. I'm not, oh oh god. Oh god. Ah, uh, if only there was a way to rotate it. We have more metal now, though. You should be able to build. Uh. Oh yeah. shit. <laughs> nice job. All right. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and what recycle the that. Fuck was that? Uh. Wow. Okay. Alpha guys. What happened? Uh, I kind of went into the ground. Into the ground? Yeah, and uh, I saw like underground. It was... I don't know, man. It was it was really scary. I'm glad I'm back. Hold oh, well. Me. Hold Welcome me. back. Okay, so that's the L-Slammer. Oh, shit. I'm not... Not entirely sure what it is or what it does. does it I'm, try I'm trying to get on top. Okay, my face is stuck. Okay. Oh. It says the description is the L Slammer turret. It also slams things. Uh. They were very creative with these these descriptions. Yes. <laughs> Come on, I gotta get on. Oh. I don't think. My face is stuck. <laughs> My face is stuck. Shit! <laughs> Captain, we have a problem here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh. There we go. I'm trying to... I don't think you can stay on top of it. I think... I don't think you move with it. Alright, so let's it? see what happens if I put it... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I was just about to hit the stuff you built. There we go. Oh. So I guess that won't work then. <laughs> that didn't work very well. Oh. You could angle oh, it? Okay. What? How oh, do you angle stuff? Hello. I don't know. It's, it kind of just does it automatically. I know if you scroll, it moves it in and out of your, you know. Yeah, your I don't know how to. Hold on. Maybe if I hold down a. Oh, whoop. no, that's not it. Um. We have one. Oh, left. okay. Hold down left click, and it'll do it. Oh, uh oh. So I found out what the L slammer turret does. <laughs> what? Uh, hold on. Let me get caught in it again. That basically grabs you and spins you around? Yeah. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> oh god! It doesn't seem to be very effective though. Like, uh, I I've been stuck into it for a while. Hello. Hello! <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess there's that. Uh, so, it oh god. That's an insta-kill. I didn't even like flail for a little bit. That was just killed me instantly. What did it do? The one on the ground, the glitchy one. Oh, I I still don't see it. All right, you just breaking the shit out of that thing. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, if you stay tuned, next week we'll actually come out with the uh, fort defense video.